Hi there, uh, my name's Nick and I wanted to introduce you to my house. Um, it's a pretty ordinary house as far as houses go. It's a three bedroom semi-detached house. Um, but we wanted to make our house a bit more sustainable and environmentally friendly and if I'm being honest about it, a bit cheaper to run. Um, we moved in just over two years ago and when we moved in it didn't have any central heating. Um, it was just using a couple of old storage heaters to heat the house and um, a log burner as well, which um, wasn't ideal. It was quite cold in the winter. So we installed some panel heaters, which were okay, but turned out to be really expensive to run. Um, and then along came the lovely government green home grant scheme. Uh, this allowed us to take advantage of their well-run scheme. Uh, I think you probably know that I'm being ironic when I say that. Um, uh, but we were one of the very few people who actually got an air source heat pump installed. Um, and now we're seeing the benefit of that. Now, last night the temperature went down to around zero um, and the house stayed quite nice and warm. And it still is now. Um, anyway, I'll take you around and show you a few of the features of our house. So in the hallway here we have had um, a new big large panel radiator installed which we needed to have uh, all radiators installed throughout the house as we had nothing at all before as I mentioned. Um, this is quite a big radiator which heats this hallway up nicely. Um, the next thing I want to do really is to replace this horrible old drafty door which we've got which is really drafty when the wind blows you can feel it howling so we've put one of those sausage dogs at the bottom but it doesn't really do very much. Um, so we're having quotes given to us at the moment for a nice, oh, going out of focus, there we go, for a nice new composite door to be fitted there. And that should make this hallway much warmer, but it already is quite warm with this radiator. So moving on into the landing, uh, we've got LED light fittings there and the loft hatch. So our loft is really well insulated, has uh, more than the recommended amount of insulation in there um, and you can really feel that it keeps this landing quite nice and warm even though there's no radiators here at all. Um, just relies on the heat coming upstairs I guess from downstairs and the bedrooms and the bathroom there. So in this airing cupboard we've got uh, the hot water tank for our newly installed air source heat pump. Uh, which has got a header unit, I think that's what it's called there. Um, and we've also got a solar eye boost, which takes advantage of the electricity that we're sending off to the grid from our solar panels and puts it into the hot water. Obviously being beginning of November and although it's quite sunny today, it might have a little bit, but it doesn't really do very much at this time of year. Um, but during the summer, we're pretty much self-sufficient for hot water from the electricity from the solar panels so you can I don't know if you can hear that it's gurgling away the heat pump is on because it's a bit chilly today but I can have a look and see how much we've saved well we've done 0.15 kilowatts today which is nice yesterday 0.7 last seven days three so there we go hardly anything uh, total amount saved 3044 kilowatt hours that's quite a good saving that would have just gone off to the grid and it stayed in our house so in here this is our junk room as you can probably tell uh, but it's also where we have the inverter for our solar panels so that's a solace inverter i think it's a four kilowatt inverter it might be 3.6 but everywhere you look there's all this insulation so we've got loads of insulation there these insulation boards and the controls and stuff for the solar um, yeah not very exciting so throughout the house all the lighting has been replaced with LEDs this is rather a rather snazzy Edison style light bulb which is an LED light bulb um, I can even touch that. It's so cool. It's been on for 10 minutes and it's 
doesn't produce, it produces hardly any heat at all, so that's why it is so efficient. So we're just outside the back of the house now. I chose to put the air source heat pump on the wall at the back high up. So it's a simple, it was a simple installation just straight through the wall to where the airing cupboard is behind that, where the tank is. So we've got an Eco Dan uh, Mitsubishi air source heat pump. I think it's a 7.5 kilowatt model. Um, it's running now, I think it's making some hot water now. Uh, I chose this time of the day because it's the middle of the day just so that there's usually the most heat in the atmosphere to uh, to make it run the most efficiently. Um, whether that makes any sense it seemed to be logical to me, I don't know. Uh, as you can see it's running now, I'm not sure if you can hear it, but it's really noisy isn't it? It's so noisy. I'm being, I'm joking when I say that because there's so much at the moment in the press about air source heat pumps and how much noise they make and how they're really intrusive and noisy. Well, I've had gas boilers that are noisier than this before um, and it doesn't smell, it doesn't smell of kerosene like my old oil boiler used to and it just uses green energy from the grid, from our green supplier. Yeah, we're really happy with it so far. Um, yeah, there we go. I'll show you around the side if you really want to see it. Another bit of you. There's a few pipes there just going into the, into the house. Um, the other side. There you can see all the heat exchangers in there doing their thing. That's it. So just while I'm at the back of the house I thought I'd show you the roof which has got uh, six solar panels on this side which catches the morning sun. Um, sorry it's a bit not very good picture I think it, the sun is out just there so we're staring right into the sun and it's really low at this time of year. So there's six panels there which catch the morning sun. And here we are at the front of the house uh, we've got ten solar panels there. So in total I think we've got 3.6 kilowatts of um, solar potential. I think most I've ever seen is up to about two on a really sunny day um, in the middle of summer. But yeah, so they've been placed to make the most of uh, the sun going across the house. So yeah, there we go. You can see our double glazed windows there and the front door that we want to replace. Uh, over here as well. I'll take you over. We've got, excuse the state of the bushes, need to cut these all back. Um, our charger for our electric car. So we've got an Omi charger and that looks like the spiders have been living in it. Um, that works in conjunction with our octopus tariff which gives us five hours at five and a half P overnight. So it works automatically to only charge our Nissan Leaf when the electricity is really cheap. Obviously we can override that if we want to. And just for a bit of light relief, here is our lovely guinea pig hutch. Uh, we moved them from one place to the other because it's a bit cold now. So we've got a more insulated hutch for the night. But during the day they like to come out here and nibble on the grass. So that snowdrop you can see there. Say hello. And I think Coco's just inside her tunnel. Can you see her? I can't see. She's hiding. Hello. <gasps> there we go. I think she's probably at the other end. No, she doesn't want to come out. Well, thanks for watching today. Um, I hope it's been interesting and not too boring for you. I've enjoyed making the video. I'm going to go off now and edit the video down and hopefully get a video and put it up on YouTube for the first time. It's We're all learning today. It's been good fun. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, if you've got any comments or ideas, please let me know and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks and take care. Bye.